Good morning and good afternoon, dear educators from North Carolina, USA, and Republic of Moldova. It is with great pleasure that we are announcing the official launch of our cross-Atlantic initiative. In order to help us work together as one team, we created a project blog that will reflect on all the activities and all the steps involved in this project. We hope you had time to browse through the school profiles sent by American educators and Moldovan educators. We created separate pages where we'll be posting all the information that you are willing to share with the rest of our international team. So, schools from North Carolina, their profiles can be found here in North Carolina school section. Just this morning, we posted two profiles sent by two American educators interested in uh, creating partnerships with Moldovan students. You will be able to see their logos, pictures with students, uh, having fun, uh, singing um, and playing musical instruments, even dancing. Some of schools have Facebook accounts and sent the link to their Facebook groups. And of course, you will be able to see the names of the educators who will be guiding the students uh, throughout the project starting today. Moldovan schools have been posted on this section of the blog. And as you can see, many of them shared pictures of students wearing national costumes. Even though Moldova is a small country, we have a wide variety of colors and shapes and forms uh, in terms of national or fall costume. So this might be an interesting subject for you to discuss with your students in class. Uh, different regions around Moldova have different colors ranging from green, blue, red. And we usually wear these costumes whenever we have special celebrations. This might be a good start uh, for you to uh, communicate with your new friends from um, over the Atlantic. So all the um, 20 schools that officially registered to participate in our initiative are here. We would like to thank Ministry of Education of Republic of Moldova for helping identify those schools which have uh, all the necessary equipment uh, to engage in an international initiative and are willing to create uh, partnerships with their educator, with their uh, peers from uh, United States. So all Moldovan schools are listed here in this section of our blog. Now. In order for us to organize all activities, we will create bi-monthly assignments. Why assignments? Because it's easier for us, for teachers, to follow assignments when we have a clear list of activities, deadlines, and instructions to go with them. So, the first assignment has been posted on the blog. There are sh three very simple short tasks we're encouraging you to work on starting today, November 1st, till November 12th. So this is the deadline for the first assignment. So first, we would like to create an interactive map. All you need to do is to pin your location so that by the end of this period of time involved in the first step of the project, we will have one map where we will see all participants. Just click on the plus sign up here, and as you can see, there are several educators that have already managed to pin their location on the map, so thank you for being so hardworking. Click on the plus sign, and my browser is in Russian, your browsers will be in English. Write your name, um, first name and last name, and then choose your location. So for example, I'm from Chisinau, so the map will help you find your city. Um, for example, North Carolina, um, and you see it has the list of all the cities. And then you can even choose the color of the marker. There is a long list of colors, so you can choose any color you like, olive and teal and, and so on and so forth. Then you go to details. Here you write your description, a few sentences about yourself, about your school or about your students. You decide what you want to be there on your profile. Please insert your email. This will help us find our partners whenever we need them. And of course, you can insert your website, the website of your school, your personal or your teaching blog or website if you have one. And then if you click on media, you can add your 
a picture. It can be a profile picture. You can choose it from um, any file you have saved on your desktop. Um, it can be um, any picture or it can be an avatar. It can be the logo of your school. You decide what um, you want uh, to be there uh, uploaded on our project blog. If you have an audio file, you can upload it. And if you have a YouTube video, that can be added to your location as well. And then when you're done uh, inserting all the information, you can preview. So you can check if you like the information that is going to uh, be there next to your pin. And when you're ready, you click on submit. And so your name will appear in the list right next to the interactive map on the right side right over here so your name will be just here so we hope that by uh, november 12th we will have a full list of educators who are uh, engaged in our cross-atlantic initiative this was the first task the second task let's share video handshakes or video or photo introductions some of you have already created introductions and we posted them on our blog we have a special section video introductions so you can uh, steal or borrow a few tips from the introductions created by uh, Moldovan students. It can be a simple picture accompanied by a short text, or it can be a more elaborate slideshow with pictures, music, um, uh, it may look like a movie. Uh, you decide on the format. Um, if you have time, if your students want to create something amazing, then let them do that. If you don't have uh, much time to do that, then simply send us a picture with a description. We will be using this information, this um, these video uh, introductions, to find the right partner for each and every class involved in this initiative. Um, we will be looking at students' age, their interests, uh, any preferences in terms of service learning theme that you will be addressing. So your video introductions should help us identify the right partner for uh, each class that you will be involving in there um, in our project. Let's get back to our collaboration section. So while your students work on their photo or video introductions, please post a short introductory messages yourselves as a comment to this section. So when you go down the page, you see the word comments. And when you click on the comment section, uh, you will need to insert your name, all right, and the email address, and then you post uh, a comment. Um, I think we have already uh, two of our teachers, one from United States and one from Moldova, have already posted short introductory messages, so we can see in comments right here. All right, so we have a comment from Yvonne. Thank you for uploading such creative introductions, okay? So you can create a similar um, message and you post it here in the comments section. Just to keep things separate, teachers will collaborate here in the collaboration section and students will collaborate here in the video introduction section so that we keep our messages separate from their messages and it's easier for us to monitor their online activity. So students work on video or photo introductions and student teachers need to post um, their um, welcoming uh, messages here on this blog post as a comment. Last but not least, we will be introducing our students to the concept of service learning. To do that, please invite your students to check our Global Youth Service Day video collection. We celebrated Global Youth Service Day in spring and we had over 60 schools around Moldova who organized various initiatives in their local uh, communities, either in villages or cities around Moldova. And to reflect on what they learned from uh, engaging in these activities, they created reports, video reports that we posted on the blog. And then we even voted for the most inspiring, for uh, the most interesting, for the most creative projects. So we will be doing that as well in spring uh, by the end of our initiative. Ask your students to check this gallery and choose two videos that they liked most. Then go back to our blog and write what they liked about those videos how they felt about seeing their peers from Moldova engaging in various activities that address um, issues that are important to them. Some of our students um, discussed tolerance, helping the elderly, helping the poor. 
Others engaged in activities that meant to clean a local park or a local river. Some of our students planted trees or flowers in uh, their schoolyard. Uh, others um, encouraged a healthy lifestyle and even organized a flash mob for their community. So there are so many interesting activities to choose from. Encourage your students to explore uh, our library and write about what they might be doing if they had the opportunity to get engaged in an activity that would involve not just the school, but also the local communities, their families, um, local public administration, uh, school administration, friends, everyone from the um, each and everyone's community. So just to summarize, there are three tasks that you need to complete by November 12th. Pin your location on our map. Encourage your students to create a photo or a video introduction. Post your own introductory message here as a comment. And last, invite your students to browse through our video collection and start reflecting on how important service learning can be for them and how this could help them become more responsible, active citizens. Should you have any questions regarding these tasks or the first assignment, please address them by email and we will be there for you. We will try to get answers as soon as possible. There will be more trainers involved in our project and they will introduce themselves later on. So there will be a team of professional educators who will be guiding all teachers and all students throughout all the stages involved in this initiative. Have a wonderful start of November, and we hope that this international collaboration will bring added value to your syllabus, to your curriculum, and we hope that American and Moldovan students will enjoy collaborating together while learning about the importance and impact of service learning. Have a wonderful day or have a wonderful evening, everyone, and see you online on the project blog. Goodbye.